What up, y'all? It's boy, Mr. Downtown Ray Mello, and you're listening to the Entertainment Report on iHeartRadio, live from Dubai for Tuesday, July 11, 2017, delivering some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, facebook.com slash the Entertainment Report with Ray Mello, that's R-A-Y-M-E-L-O, on Twitter at the Enter Report, or on Instagram at the Entertainment Report. You can listen to the show anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app, search for the entertainment report and it'll take you to the page season nine of larry david's comedy kirby enthusiasm got a trailer and premiere date monday the message that accompanies the 30 second preview clip on youtube says he left he did nothing he returned the announcement video showed david dressed as an ancient roman in white robe with a crown of laurel leaves on his head it revealed his mockumentary would return to hbo with fresh episodes on october 1st season eight aired in 2011 the second half of Fear of the Walking Dead Season 3 is to begin with two back-to-back episodes on September 10th. The West Coast zombie apocalypse drama had its mid-season finale Sunday night. Uh, AMC's press release summarized, and the second half of Fear of the Walking Dead Season 3, the Clarks and Ottos have secured an uneasy truce with the nation. Former enemies must find a way to survive together. Tensions mount at Broke Jaw Ranch as their militia is decimated. Resources are scarce, and the dead are encroaching. The Gonzales Dam, the source of life, is larger prize to the south strand has hit rock bottom and needs a partner to harness the world's only currency if he is going to be resurrected meanwhile daniel has become an el salado again and bids his time in service to lola and the dam but hasn't given up the ghost of ophelia the show co-stars kim dickens frank dillion alicia demon and carrie ruben blades danae garcia and coleman domingo the Hateful Eight actors Jennifer Jason League and the Matrix alum Hugo Weaving are to co-star with Bandit Cumberbatch and Patrick Melrose. Set to begin shooting in London and the south of France in August, the limited series is expected to air on Sky Atlantic in the United Kingdom and Showtime in the United States. Lee and Weaving will play the parents of Cumberbatch's title character, while Anna Madeley will play Melrose's wife. David Nichols is writing all five episodes of the television adaptation of Edward St. Albans' novel and Edward Berger's directing. Showtime describes the series in the press release as a story that, quote, hilariously scores the upper class as it tracks the protagonist's harrowing odyssey from a deeply traumatic childhood through adult substance abuse and ultimately towards recovery. British actor Laurie Davidson says the actual writings of William Shakespeare were crucial in helping him prepare to play the 16th century scribe in TNT's new series, Will. The actor said after a recent preview of the show in New York's Bryant Park, all we really have are these guys' plays. Everything we know about him was lost in the Great Fire of London, so we have to go on his work. And from his plays and his sonnets, you can go some way to find out what kind of man he was. There's a play called The Book of Sir Thomas More, which not many people know about, by Shakespeare. There's a great speech in there about immigration and how his feelings are about what it would be like if an Englishman was to arrive onto the foreign shores. And from these kind of things, we can see that he is a humanist and that he really did care about people. And he wasn't coming at the theater from the same place as the university educated people. He was a man of from relatively small small means. TNT's 10-episode period drama about the young literary lion features a modern soundtrack and co-stars Olivia Dijon, Cole Meaning, Matthias Inwood, Jamie Campbell Bauer, and Ewan Bremner. The first two episodes premiered Monday night. Black China says she was devastated after ex-fiancé Rob Kardashian targeted her in a series of explicit posts last week. The 29-year-old reality star spoke out on Monday's episode of Good Morning America after Kardashian shared naked photos of her July 5th on Instagram after accusing her of cheating. Black China told ABC's news correspondent, Ninzi Davis, I was devastated, of course. I was like, how could somebody post these pictures of me? This is a person I trusted. I just felt betrayed. Kardashian shared the private photos with his millions of followers after claiming Black China slept with multiple men while they were together. He also posted a video the star sent him of her kissing another man in bed. Black China explained, I've been broken up with Rob since December. It's like if somebody keeps poking at you and poking at you and poking at you and keeps poking at you, and eventually you're going to pop. I was just like, maybe if I send this video to him, then he'll just leave me alone. Black China's lawyer, Lisa Bloom, confirming this interview that the star will file a restraining order against Kardashian on Monday. Bloom called Kardashian's actions revenge porn and called a form of domestic violence in a tweet last week. 
China told Davis, I talked to Rob about everything. The moral of the story is, like, he doesn't respect me, so if you can't respect me, you can't. You have to respect the law. Like China, Kardashian got engaged in April 2016 after three months of dating and welcomed their first child, daughter, Dream, in November. The star said the Kardashian family, including Kim Kardashian, hasn't reached out to her since Kardashian's rant. British television personality James Corden is going to be a dad of three. The 38-year-old Late Late Show host rep confirmed Sunday to Us Weekly that Corden's wife, Julia Carey, is pregnant and expecting another baby in December. Corden and Carey are already parents to six-year-old son, Max, and two-year-old daughter, Carey. The television personality said in an interview with the London Times, published in June, that he and his family have settled in Los Angeles where the Late Late Show films. Corden told the publication, we're here for another few years without questioning until I get fired. We just bought a house, and we feel settled as a family. He said of his wife, she's incredible. People always talk about me and how much work the show must be, but it's nothing compared to what she does. Our daughter was only 12 weeks old when we moved here. It was a massive thing to just pick up our life and come here, you know. The star added, we're happy because we're together all the time. It's not like I'm doing a movie where I'm, I'll be back in a few months or a play with eight shows a week where every night you're on your own. Predominantly, this show is me being here in this office, coming up with ideas, and then we go and shoot stuff and do the show home every night. According to see Craig Ferguson is the host of the Late Late Show in 2015. He is known for his popular car- carpool karaoke segment, which sees him invite celebrity musical guests for a sing-along in the car. Mom-to-be Jade Roper is enjoying a baby moon in Hawaii at 30 weeks pregnant. The 30-year-old reality star shared photos from her tropical getaway with husband Tanner Tolbert ahead of the birth of their first child. She captioned a picture Saturday on Instagram, expectation, thinking you can spend the day sunbathing on the beach while you're 30 weeks pregnant. Reality, spending 10 minutes in the sun and rest in the cabana shade because you are a human incubator. The Bachelor in Paradise Season 3 couple arrive in Maui on July 6th and have been staying at the Hyatt Regency Maui Resort and spa. The pair attended a luau fest in their hotel Saturday. Roper captioned a photo from the outing, loving that we are getting to relax in this settle, settling together before baby Jenner arrives. The sunsets here in Maui are absolutely breathtaking. We had so much fun at dinner last night watching all the traditional dances at the drum of the Pacific Luau and eating the luau feast. Hashtag baby moon. Roper and Tolbert competed on The Bachelor season 19 and The Bachelorette season 11 respectfully before meeting and getting engaged on The Bachelor in Paradise Season 3 finale. The couple married in January 2016 and announced Roper's pregnancy in March. Roper tweeted on March 8th, We're crazy grateful to finally announce a little secret we've been keeping. We're absolutely head over heels in love already. Roper and Tolbert later confirmed they're expecting a baby girl. The couple last appeared on the Wii TV series Marriage Boot Camp Reality Stars in 2016. Evan Ross enjoyed a family trip with wife Ashley Simpson and their daughter over the weekend. The 20-year-old actor shared a photo with the 32-year-old singer and 21-month-old Jagger on Friday from their visit to Lake Austin in Austin, Texas. He captioned the picture on Instagram, hashtag family trip, hashtag Lake Austin, loved every minute of it, so much love. Ross brought Jagger to watch his mom, singer Diana Ross, perform at the ACL Live at the Moody Theater the night previous. He posted a video of Ross's performance online. The star wrote, me and my baby girl watching mommy you are everything mom baby girl loving her grandmommy ross and simpson the younger sister of singer and designer jessica simpson married in august 2014 simpson is also mom to eight-year-old son knox with her ex-husband fallout boy bassist pete wentz the singer told E! News in October 2015 after Jagger's birth, Knox is such a good older brother, he's always saying how beautiful she is and wanting to hold her. He told AOL the same month, he's like a professional big brother, and he's got it down. He can calm her down and tell her it's okay, entertain her, and dance with her. Dancing with the Stars judge Julianne Huff wed her boyfriend NHL pro Brooks Lach Saturday during an intimate outdoor wedding in Idaho. The ceremony, which took place on a grassy field in the city of Kuro Dialini near Huff's family home, was attended by over 200 guests, including Huff's brother Derek Huff, who served as a groomsman, their two dogs, Lexi and Harley, Nina Dubrave, Aaron Paul, and Mark Ballas, reported People magazine. Huff said of the wedding, I don't think I'll ever really necessarily dream about my wedding as a kid, but but I know I will always cherish and remember it for the rest of my life. Before time and not, the couple took photos together on the balcony that overlooked the lake. Source detailed to E! News, when it was time for the ceremony, Julianne and Brooks took a boat ride to the ceremony in a beautiful wooden boat. 
Uh, they continued by saying Brooks was driving, and it was just the two of them cruising around. Julianne with, was laughing as her veil flew in her face, and she tried to keep it on. She sat on the back of the boat and put her arm around Brooks. It was very romantic and a unique way to make their grand entrance. For her big day, Huff wore a custom strapless Marchesa gown with Lorianne Schwartz jewelry, while Latch wore a Brooks Brothers tuxedo. After the ceremony wrapped, the reception was held with dancing and dinner. Huff and Latch became engaged in 2015 after two years of dating. Huff's wedding took place on the same day as Dancing with the Stars pro Peter Mugatroy and Maxim Chermerninsky tied a knot in New York. Patton Oswalt has responded to critics of his recent engagement to actress Meredith Salinger on Facebook by sharing a blog written in his defense. The actor wrote on Saturday alongside a link to a blog written by Erica Roman titled A Widow's Rage Defense Against Patton Oswalt's Engagement. This is so amazing and so well written. He continued by saying, I expect some bitter grub worms to weigh in anonymously, anonymously always, always, always with their much needed opinions when I announced my engagement last week and I decided to ignore them. Uh, so, he also added, but yeah, I felt this rage, and Erica articulated better than I could have ever hoped. So there you go. Thank you, Erica. In the blog post, Roman congratulated Oswald and said, ignorant judgment, trolls were not entitled to an opinion. Oswald became engaged to Salinger on Thursday following the death of his wife, writer Michelle McNamara, in April 2016. Oswald shares a daughter, eight-year-old Alice, with McNamara. Salinger wrote on Twitter at the time, it's official, I'm the luckiest, happiest girl in the universe. I love you, at Patton Oswald. I love you, Alice Oswald. Harper Beckham celebrated her sixth birthday at a princess theme party at Buckingham Palace. Celebrity so parents David and Victoria Beckham brought Harper and a group of her friends to meet Princess Eugene at the Royal Residence Monday in London. Victoria captioned a photo on Instagram of her daughter in a Cinderella dress, our little birthday princess, uh, X Kisses. David shared a series of pictures on his own account, including a snapshot of himself embracing Harper outside the palace and a photo of his daughter and her friends meeting Princess Eugene a niece of Prince Charles. David wrote, Happy birthday to our special little young girl, such a special girl who brings so much joy and happiness into our lives. Happy sixth birthday. I can't believe you're six already. Had the most amazing day. We love you, pretty lady X. David and Victoria also rang in Harper's birthday at a low-key party with their extended families Saturday. 42-year-old retired soccer star and 43-year-old designer and former Spice Girl singer celebrated their 18th anniversary last week. They wrote July 4th, Wow, we really did this. Happy anniversary to an amazing wife, mommy, and strong businesswoman. Love you, X. David and Victoria are also parents of three sons, 18-year-old Brooklyn, 14-year-old Romeo, and 12-year-old Cruz. The designer was named OBE, or Officer of the Most Excellent Order of the British Empire by Prince William in April. Celebrity mom Reese Witherspoon shared a new photo of her kids over the weekend. The 41-year-old actress posted a photo of 17-year-old daughter Ava, 13-year-old son Deacon, and 4-year-old son Tennessee from their vacation home. Uh, she captioned a Snapchat which shows Ava and Deacon embracing their younger brother while at a restaurant. Love my crew. Witherspoon had shared a photo of herself with her lookalike daughter from the trip last week. People again commented on the star's resemblance to Ava after she posted the new picture Sunday. Uh, one person wrote, Wow, for a second I thought it was Reese herself in the picture. Ava is gorgeous. Another added, At first glance, I thought your daughter was you. You have strong genes. All three look like you. Witherspoon shares Ava and Deacon with ex-husband actor Ryan Phillips in Tennessee with husband Jim Thoth. She discussed Ava with Us Weekly in 2016, telling the magazine her daughter gives her fashion advice. The star gushed, she's so much cooler than I am, she's very cutting edge, and she knows a lot about fashion, and she has her own sense of style, which is amazing. She also said, we tried to confer about new styles, she tells me whether or not I can wear things. With been last played Madeline McKenzie in an HBO adaptation of Big Little Lies, she said in an interview with E! News in April that she spoke to author Leanne Moriarty and co-star Nicole Kidman about the show's potential re return. Nelson Ellis' family is offering more details regarding the True Blood icon's unexpected death from heart failure during the weekend. Uh, his loved one said in a statement released by his manager to the Hollywood Reporter Monday, Nelson had suffered with drug and alcohol abuse for years. After many stints in rehab, Nelson attempted to withdraw from alcohol on his own. According to his father, during his withdrawal from alcohol, he had a blood infection, his kidneys shut down, his liver was swollen, his blood pressure plummeted, and his dear sweetheart raced out of control. 
And they also continued by saying on the morning of Saturday, July 8th, after four days in Woodhill Hospital, Nelson was pronounced dead. Nelson was a gentle, generous, and kind soul. He was a father, a son, a grandson, a brother, a nephew, and a great friend to those that were lucky enough to know him. Nelson was ashamed of his addiction and thus was reluctant to talk about it during his life. His family, however, believes that in death, he would want his life to serve as a cautionary tale in an attempt to help others. Ellis' film credits include The Soloist, The Butter, The Butler, and Get On Up. He also recently co-starred on the detective drama Elementary. HBO said in a statement to People Magazine Saturday, we were extremely sad to hear the passing of Nelson Ellis. Nelson was a longtime member of the HBO family whose groundbreaking portrayal of Lafayette will be remembered fondly with within the overall legacy of True Blood. Nelson will be dearly missed by his fans and all of us at HBO. He was 39. Amy Schumer and Jennifer Lawrence are back together in a new photo shared by Schumer on Instagram that also featured Woody Harrelson. Schumer captioned the pic shared Sunday, Sisters, that featured the Hollywood star smiling as Harrelson stands between them. Lawrence is seen rocking a black dress while Schumer is donning a white tank top with her pulled into a ponytail. Second photo shared by Schumer features a comedian watching Harrelson perform a stand-up set on stage at Club, the comedy cellar in New York. Magic, the Snatch uh, star, captioned the photo. Schumer and Lawrence previously made headlines with their friendship in July 2015, while the pair took a, sec a summer vacation together in the Hamptons. The pair 10 teamed up to pen a new comedy script for a film that will star both Schumer and Lawrence. Lawrence said previously of the, uh, the writing process, Amy and I were creatively made for each other. We have different flavors. It's been the most fun experience of my life. We start the day off on the phone laughing, and then we send each other pages, and we crack up. LL Cool J wants to help his former co-star Maya Campbell after a video of her begging for drug money at a gas station in Atlanta surfaced on the internet. He wrote on Instagram, if anyone has a contact on Maya, please let me know, along with the photo of the former actress. On Twitter, Cool J also criticized the person who took the video. He says, instead of pulling out your phone and filming someone who's obviously having trouble, maybe lend a helping hand. A kind word. But hours later, he tweeted, you can't help someone who doesn't want your help. In the video, Campbell is wearing just a bra and panties as she pumps a man's gas for a few dollars. At one point, he encourages her to jump up and down. Campbell, 40, starred in the TV series In the House with LL Cool J between 1995 and 1998. Her history of drug addiction and bipolar disorder goes back several years. In 2012, she opened up about her addiction to met crystal meth and her struggles with mental illness in an episode of Ayanala Fix My Life with relationship expert Aliana Van Zandt. Before taping that episode, Campbell became somewhat of a YouTube star in a negative manner as several videos of her allegedly on drugs and involved in prostitution were published online. Mayor Morris is engaged to fellow singer Ryan Hurd. The 27-year-old country star announced Sunday that she recently said yes to the 32-year-old singer-songwriter. She captioned slideshows of photos on Instagram, yes, including a picture of her diamond ring, and Moore said in an interview with People published in January that she and Heard first met as songwriters in 2013. The pair collaborated on the song Last Turn Home, which Tim McGraw recorded for his album Sundown Heaven Town. Morris recalled, it was the start of a wonderful writing relationship. It's one of my favorite songs that we've ever been a part of. It's just crazy to look back on that moment where we were both just songwriters solely, and that song has held so much weight over the years. She said of her later romance, we have been friends for only a couple of years, but there was always this writing chemistry in the room, and eventually the timing of it was undeniable. We had such a foundation building off writing so many songs over the years that we were like, why are we avoiding this? Morris last released the album Hero in in June 2016, which included the singles My Church and 80s Mercedes. She and Heard attended the 2017 ACM Awards in April, where she won New Female Vocalist of the Year. Gwen Stefani shared a sweet moment with boyfriend Blake Shelton and son Apollo over the weekend. The 47-year-old singer posted a photo Friday of Shelton playing with three-year-old Apollo as they enjoyed a family vacation. She captioned the picture for her 6.8 million Instagram followers. Hashtag summer 2017. Love you guys. GX. Stefani shared a Snapchat last week of herself lounging by the pool in an unknown tropical location. She shares Apollo, 8-year-old Zuma, and 11-year-old son Kingston with ex-husband Gavin Rosdale, from whom she split in August 2015. 
Uh, she says, I wasn't abandoned free my whole life, so I always thought it would be really free with my kids and do whatever I wanted, like, oh, I'll take them out to school. But you learn that when they have boundaries is when they feel the safest. She also added, the hardest thing to do is having a disciplined chart and follow up on all those things. It's working, you know, but that's where you get the results. The star confessed, I see a constant fear of how am I going to make sure these people are, these kids are good people. I love when they still play, and you're like, oh, good, they're still doing that. Stefani and Shelton confirmed their relationship in November 2015 following their respective splits from Rosdale and Miranda Lambert. Shelton couldn't help but gush about the singer during an appearance on Today in June. The 41-year-old country star says, We're just content and happy, and it's just an incredible feeling. Our hobby is just hanging out together. We're best friends. Jay-Z is ready to hit the road again in support of his latest album, 444. The North American tour announced Monday begins October 27th in Anaheim, California, before wrapping up on December 21st in Los Angeles. Key stops on the tour includes performances in Las Vegas, Denver, Dallas, Miami, Atlanta, Orlando, Toronto, Boston, Chicago, and many more. Tickets for the 444 tour go on sale to the general public on July 14th at 10 a.m. through LiveNation.com. Subscribers to the rapper's musical streaming service Tidal are eligible to purchase pre-sale tickets starting on Monday at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The tour is the first installment of Jay-Z's recent 10-year touring deal he signed with Live Nation in May. The album released on June 30th was certified platinum in one week. Jay-Z made headlines with 444 as the album features the 47-year-old addressing his relationship with wife Beyonce following the release of Lemonade and the infamous elevator fight he had with her sister Solange. And finally, here are some celebrity birthdays. Italian fashion designer Giorgio Armani is 83. Soul singer Bonnie Pointer from the Pointer Sisters is 67. Actress Cella Ward is 61. Richie Sambora, the former guitarist of uh, Bon Jovi, is 58. Singer Susanna Vega is 58. Actress Lisa Renna is 53. Actor Cassie Davis is 53. TV host John Henson is 50. TV naturalist Jeff Corrin is 50. Actor Justin Chambers is 46. Rapper Little Kim is 43. And singer Elisa Cara is 21. And as your entertainment report for Tuesday, July 11, 2017, I'm your host, Mr. Downtown Ray Mello. I'll be back tomorrow to deliver some major stories and trends going on in the world of entertainment and beyond. You can follow the show on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram. Facebook.com slash The Entertainment Report with Ray Mello. That's R-E-Y-M-E-L-O on Twitter at The Entertainment Report or on Instagram at The Entertainment Report. You can listen to this episode or any previous episodes of The Entertainment Report anytime you want on iHeartRadio. Just go to iHeart.com or your iHeart phone app. Search for The Entertainment Report and it'll take you to the page. Good night and God bless you all.